what I need to do, being the first Asian American woman senator, uh, because a lot of people, I feel the pressure that I, you're relying on me to be a representative, and I need to dig deeper into everyone's culture so that I can be a better representative, better senator for all of our Asian American community. So Tiffany, thank you for being an example. Uh, thank you to the host committee for helping us out today. Uh, it is AAPI Heritage Month, and so having everyone here right now is, makes me so proud. I'm grateful for the diversity here. Uh, for those who don't know me too well, I don't want to assume people know who I am, but um, I came here in Harrisburg in 2000 to be a news reporter for the CBS 21 affiliate. I, when people are still like, you're the news lady. I was like in my 20s, like a kid. I, was so, I made mistakes. Oh my gosh, I was so bad. Um, but I've kind of grown up a little bit. Uh, after the news station, I went to city council and served there for seven years. It was like a term and a half. And I learned so much. I think if anyone wants to be in politics, you got to go on the, the, the lower level. And I, for seven years, and you know, I wasn't a big fundraiser, uh, a little bit shy, but I was confident because I knew my constituents. I sat there Tuesday nights at uh, council meetings during public comment, you get all types of people. And I just listened, listened, listened. I know Harrisburg. I can represent Harrisburg. And so that's where I got, uh, I learned a lot. I got my PhD in uh, constituent services. And then I went to the house and I've been serving for this is my 12th year. Um, and so I feel like I'm ready now for state senator. The position, the, the district has changed and it, it looks favorable for a Democrat. Um, one thing, and I so appreciate all the kind words, but being a second generation uh, Korean American daughter of immigrants has helped me to become a better politician. I saw my parents, what they had to go through in terms of just English and assimilating and trying to be part of things and getting kind of rejected. My dad was super smart, electrical engineer. English wasn't great. And so he was in that same position at the federal government, not being able to be promoted. Uh, always, they're not shameful, but just they felt like uh, not truly American. And being a very sensitive child, you know, I see all the side groups like my parents, and I want to bring them in. I don't know how in the world I got into politics. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to get kicked out, but I'm going to bring in people to the table. Let your voices heard. My dad's been here for 60 years, and it's the first time he's seeing you know, an Asian American in Senate, and it makes him so proud. I don't have to be Korean. You don't have to be Korean for me to represent you, but I kind of get you. I kind of understand some of your struggles. And I just need to get to know everyone a little bit better so that your voices are louder when I'm hopefully in the Senate. I want to be representative for everybody, LGBT groups, everybody. I feel like that's my job and that's what I want to continue to do. I also want to be accessible to the Asian American community as well. You're not going to, most of you are not even in my district, but that's okay. Uh, as chair of the AAPI caucus uh, in, the, in the General Assembly, uh, that's a way that we can hear your concerns and be able to uh, meet some of the needs. Um, just a little bit about my race. Um, this is my wonderful team. I have Faye as the finance director. <laughs> and I have Rob as my campaign manager. I have won the primary with 87% of the vote. <laughs> uh, we received some internal polling and we're up. Uh, 12 to 15 points against my opponent. So we are looking very good. Um, we have some a lot of work to go. Um, this campaign is $1.2 million because we do the mailers. The mail is very expensive. And then we also do commercials. So we're at the halfway point. This is helping very much. Um, we're good, we have a good start. Um, and I'm not going to take anything for granted because um, I won't have a job. <laughs> I didn't run for re-election for state rep, and so I want to put all my chips on this. And if I if I don't win, that's fine. But I think we're going to be fine for no, this. It's we're we're going to be fine. Win. Uh, so with your support and uh, encouragement, uh, you're making this a lot uh, easier and better. They're they're going to go hard. They don't want to change the seat. This is a Republican seat right now, and they don't want to flip it to a Democrat. So they're going to throw everything at us and make me look like an idiot. Um, but that's okay. This is my ninth campaign and we'll be fine. So I'm going to use my parents' grit. Uh, my parents went through a lot and I learned from them and I'm going to have, uh, we're the same, same blood um, and we're going to get through this and work really hard and into victory. So I just want to thank everyone again.
for your support. And um, together, as Mr. Cho said, Choi said, that stronger, we're together, we're stronger. And so let's continue to stay in touch and win this in November. Thank you guys so much for